Right then, a quick tour of the RM9600 radio modem. Bottom right hand side, you've got the power connector. 12 volts to the left, 0 volts to the right. Large LEDs to the top of the board are the most important. The two red mean there's power. Then the two yellow are receive on the left and transmit on the right. The far left LED is carry detect or can I hear a radio signal on the channel I'm programmed to use. Now I've changed the angle, you can see there's a rotary switch, an 8 way dill switch and a small push button which is store. As you turn the rotary switch from 0 to 1, you leave run mode to test mode and then continue clockwise to set up the modem's parameters. The LEDs indicate the current modem configuration. To change settings, put the dip switch to the required position and then press store the lights will change. To restore defaults, go around to position F and you'll see the red LEDs flash. Press store and they'll stop flashing and then back to zero for run. In position one, we have test mode with dill switch one on the unit transmits, notice the yellow transmit light comes on, with switch one off the unit is in receive and the lamps turn into a bar graph showing the received signal strength. Here we've got full scale with all the LEDs illuminated and then I force it to drop to down to three quarter scale. You can easily connect a computer to one end and link pins two and three on the other modem to create a loopback test. And you can see the lights flickering as we transmit data. I'm using hyperterminal to send the serial data from the computer to the other modem. The parameters need to match those configured on the modem. As local echo is switched off, the only characters I see on the screen are the ones that have gone from one modem to the other and back again. 